Should small businesses be automating more? A reporter from a niche IT publication recently asked me for insight on whether automation makes sense for the typical small business. So in case you're wondering the same thing, here's the deal. Just to put this into context, according to the latest research from the Office of Advocacy in the U.S. Small Business Administration, the U.S. SBA, a small business is an independent business that has fewer than 500 employees. Most would take this as far too broad a definition and the mid to upper range of what many would consider mid-market by most B2B technology go-to-market professionals. And that's exactly the problem is ask 10 people what their definition of a small business is and you might get 10 answers. You'll get at least five. There is no clear consensus on what a small business actually is. So we're going to get into some strategies on what that actually means and what the implications are to small businesses. But before we do that, I can ask you to please take a moment and subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get more content just like this when it becomes available. A big thing to keep in mind is when it comes to small business, there are a lot of small businesses in the U.S. There's a lot of small businesses around the globe. In the U.S., they count, last count was over 32 million small businesses. Of those, 81% have no employees. Four out of five have zero employees. Only about 20% actually have employees, plural. Of those, 99.9% .9 of all companies in the U.S. are considered small businesses. In other words, only one out of a thousand companies in the U.S. is not considered a small business by that definition, by that really, really broad definition of up to 500 employees. And again, bear in mind, I've been working in the small business space for nearly all of my career decades, and I would have never considered a company with 200, 300, 400 employees a small business. Most people in B2B technology would consider that mid-market already. 43% of the gross domestic product, the GDP, comes from small businesses. Roughly 40%, 39.7% of private sector payroll, a huge percentage of payroll in the private sector comes from small businesses, and nearly two out of three net new jobs are created by small businesses, 62% of net new jobs over the past generation. And a little over two thirds of new small businesses survive at least two years. Of those, 49% survive five years and 34% survive 10 years. And again, even these have vastly different statistics. I often hear people anecdotally saying, yeah, you know, you have a 90% chance that you're not going to make it to five years. And those that make it to five years, only 10% make it to 10 years. Part of the problem with trying to figure out what small businesses actually are and where it makes sense to truly automate, because there is no clear consensus on what a small business actually is. So with all of this in mind, should the typical small business be automating more? Through my lens as a digital strategist for small business CEOs with more than 20 years of experience helping entrepreneurs and startups build better systems for scaling growth, this isn't even a question worth debating. So yes, nearly all small businesses need to invest in automating to improve the customer experience, the CX, and remain competitive. I'll tell you why. The way people research and make purchase decisions has changed quite dramatically in recent months and recent years. In a digitally transformed marketplace with intense globalization, you're competing with companies not just across town, across the state, across the country, you're potentially competing with companies around the world. And with this in mind, many of your ideal buyers simply want the fastest and the easiest experience possible. Either your company provides this superb experience centered around immediate gratification or your competition will. Automation is the only cost-effective way for most small businesses to provide a consistent world-class customer experience 24 by 7 by 365. Do you own a small business that is grappling with deciding how much automation to utilize? What have you automated so far? Let me know in the comments section down there below. And if you have a small business that's struggling with what to automate versus what to still leave to the human factor, I may be able to help. Feel free to look me up on LinkedIn. Send me a quick note about what kind of help you're looking for, and we may be able to work together. I am Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and I wish you great success in figuring out the automation that can help you scale the growth of your small business. Hey there, it's Joshua Feinberg from SP Home Run, and we are so glad that you stopped by to watch this video today. If you got good value from its content, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so that you can be notified when new videos just like this become available. Hope you're having a great day, and we wish you great success.